Good day everyone, my name is Cass and I haven't looked much into web VR because I didn't know there are so many web VR games and experiences now and I am positively surprised by some of these experiences so I wanted to share this with you in this quick video. I will explain what web VR and WebX are, is why there is really no reason to not use it and how to get started for every VR headset. If you already know what web VR is then stay tuned because we will also list some of our favorite web VR experiences that are free. This is an episode in our Dive into VR series and if you want to see more videos like this one please subscribe then if you haven't yet and uh, check out this playlist right here and now join me beyond reality. So for those that don't know what WebVR is let me give you a quick introduction. WebVR is a way to experience VR in your internet browser. The goal is to make it easier for everyone to get into VR experiences, no matter what device you have. It was announced in 2016, but not long after, the Google Chrome team has announced that they are reworking WebVR into WebXR, where XR stands for Extended Reality. And you can use WebXR not only for virtual reality, but also augmented reality. The biggest advantage of using this is no more fragmentation in the industry. I mean, haven't you found it annoying when a VR game only works on one certain headset and not on all other headsets? WebXR should solve this problem. Imagine a future where you open a web page and you're looking to concentrate. So you put on your VR headset and the web page seamlessly transforms into a VR experience that you can actually walk through. But after a while, you also need to head to work. Luckily, your VR headset can also do AR. So you turn on AR and you walk outside with the headset still on your head. You sit on a train and now you can browse the web page that is now blended with real life. So you can still pay attention to your surroundings. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little creative and a little bit ahead of myself, but I really do see a future like this. For the developers amongst us, WebXR is an open source JavaScript API for creating VR and AR experiences in your browser. If you are a developer, WebXR is in my opinion an accessible way to get started with VR development. For those that are interested in doing that, I will link the API down below. Now let's go back to WebVR. It should work with every VR headset that can open a compatible internet browser. For example, you can try WebVR if you have an HTC 5, Oculus Quest and Go, the Rift, Valve Index and Windows Mixed Reality headsets. The reason that you should try it out is that it is very easy to get started. There are many free ones and you don't need to download or install the game to play it. You only need three things to get started. A VR headset, a compatible browser, internet browser, so of course you do need an internet connection for this. Then lastly, you need a link to a game or experience. If you have an Oculus Quest or Oculus Go for example, you can use the built-in Oculus browser. Just start the browser, navigate to a game by entering its link. Here I'm showing Moon Rider. Most web VR games and experiences will likely show you a 2D version of the game first. But most games will also have a button that allows you to enter VR. Moonrider's button is at the bottom right. If you click on that while in your headset, you will be transferred to a VR environment and you can start playing immediately. Before we move on, while you are watching this video, don't forget to leave a like if you found it interesting so far. If you own a PC VR headset like Oculus Rift, HTC 5 or the Valve Index, then you can use the internet browser Mozilla Firefox or Super Medium on your PC. Super Medium is a browser made for VR and you can download it straight from the Steam store or the Oculus store. They are both free apps. I will link everything in the description below. The easiest to use is probably Super Medium as you launch the browser inside VR and pick the game from there. If you use Firefox, you have to install Firefox first on Windows if you haven't yet. Then make sure your headset is connected to your PC and open Firefox. Now just navigate to a web VR website and then find the button to go into VR. This can look different per experience, but it's usually at the bottom right. If you click on it, the VR experience just starts in your headset and you can put on your headset to start playing straight away. Windows Mixed Reality headsets can use Microsoft Edge, which is the standard internet browser on Windows 10. If you have a different headset, you can go to the website webvr.info and if you scroll down here, it will show what browser is compatible per headset. This might be a little outdated though since WebVR is turning into WebXR. 
A little tip, if you find games you like, I recommend bookmarking the link for easy access later. So now you might want to know where you can find some of these games. Let's start with three free web VR games that I think you should try out first. And at the end of this video, I'll let you know where you can find more web-based VR games. Now on number one, Moon Rider. Moon Rider is a Beat Saber-like rhythm game where you get two big fists and using them you punch the blocks flying toward you in any way you want. But of course, on the beat of the music. And because Moon Rider is an open source game, there are so many, many songs available. Very popular songs as well, like Happy from Pharrell Williams. Moon Rider is a must try. On number two, A Painter. A Painter is like a light and free version of Google's Tilt Brush. Here you can paint in 3D to your heart's content and then save it and share it with the world if you want. I always feel very chill inside these kinds of creative VR apps. My recommendation is to turn on some music that you like while painting. On number 3, Spider-Man VR Experience. This is another free experience where you can swing around the city like Spider-Man. Use the triggers to shoot webs and swing around the city while collecting crystals. Currently I only got this experience working on the Oculus Quest though. On Oculus Rift, the controller positions are off at the moment. Okay, so the links to all these games are in the description. I think the biggest challenge right now with web VR games is that it might not be that easy to find games. Thankfully there are a couple of lists that you could check out. Like this list by SideQuest. They have assembled a list of various web VR games and experiences that they like. The VR browser Supermedium also lists a lot of experiences, so I recommend downloading that for sure as well. There's a couple on itch.io and a couple on the Mozilla Firefox websites too. If you want to find out more, I think a simple Google search would give you some more results. And of course, uh, we will keep you updated here on this channel if you find any more good ones. Please do let me know in the comments down below if you have any web VR games or experiences that you think that we should definitely try out. Link them in the comments below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. A special thanks goes to our right-hand patrons, Art Armin for his uh, huge support and uh, check out his board games VR on Steam as well as uh, Bex on VR and his awesome VR YouTube channel. Thanks both of you and as always, VR on! Where we share, bleh, not that. This is another episode, no. Advantage of using this is, 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 bleh.